want to first thing, visit Baltimore for making this happen. I have an no Opus Dark podcast. If you don't know about the podcast, it's been number one for Reader's Choice for the last three years of 2020, 2021, and 22 for Baltimore Sun and Baltimore Magazine Best Podcast. So I just want to let everybody know that. I hey, appreciate yeah. that. Come on, clap it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm doing his thing. I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Zeke's Coffee. I want to give another sponsor, shout out to United Way Central Maryland. And the new sponsor that I just signed with today, Sagamore Rye Whiskey. So thank you guys. So that is the announcement I was going to hold up for today. So thank you. So now we are here for the man of the hour. It's not about me. I always tell people the show's not about me. This brother right here, I saw him one day pull up and escalate. He didn't do that. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. He pulled up and he, we, we, we're in a three piece suit type of situation. He got his J's on and a hoodie. I'm like, I got to interview this brother. Ain't no way. I need to know who he is. Without up, further ado, the, the up, CEO man? of Fearless, Mr. Delali. What's up, brother? What's going on? How you feeling, man? Good to see you. Good to see you as always, man. It's good, man. It's blessings to be here. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. CIAA, Tech Summit House. We're here. So tell the audience a little bit about you, about who you are and how you got started with Fearless. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So uh, name's Delali. I'm the founder and CEO of Fearless. Uh, I'm a lover of all things technology. Uh, at the end of the day, I think that technology is an accelerator, but it's always about the people. The people are the thing that we work for. We want to make life better for folks. So think of us as the tech for good company. Uh, Fearless was born 14 years ago, so we're a teenager now. We're still trying to figure some, some things out, but um, we've had a lot of success over, over the years. And ultimately, what I'm most proud of for Fearless is not just the tech, amazing technology that we build, right, in the design space, uh, engineering, uh, product space. Um, it's not that we've got a, huge, a pretty large team. We have a couple hundred employees at this point, so we've been able to grow. But it's the empathy that our people bring to the table, right? All of them are here to change the world and to make the world better. So that's the core of what it is that we do. And we've got an incubator called Hutch as well, uh, growing new companies in this space. Really saw a lack of women tech founders in the space, saw a lack of minority founders in the space, and so we started a program to grow more of these companies, and there's almost 30 within our portfolio today. And I love what you're doing right now. You're doing women in tech, and that is so powerful. I saw a lot of black women in tech. Yep. You're doing all these great things on Instagram, you're doing it on LinkedIn. What, what made you like, you know, really highlight and go after it this year? What was, because I feel like it's a missing link right there for it. Yeah, so, I think so much of it is based on my story, right? Uh, this is something that I felt like I wanted to do forever and had a lot of people that helped me. Today, Fearless is the largest software developer in the region. Hey, right? give, come on, come on, give a hand, come on. Come B on. B B BBJ is ranked us as the, um, the highest uh, revenue generating black owned business in the region. Yo, shout out for that. I love that. Uh, I love that. Come on. Come on. We got we to gotta give people the flowers while we're here. That's not, that's not how shy. Eh? Come on. But, but the reason why I mention that is because it, it's not because of me, right? It's because there are lots of mentors, lots of advisors, and lots of people that poured into me that gave me a shot when other people wouldn't give me a shot, right? And so because of that, um, who am I now that we're at this place in our, in, our, in our growth to not give time to other people, to not give support, to not give advice, um, because I had that, I needed that. And so that's part of our DNA, that's what we do. And, and so we invest a tremendous amount of time, tremendous amount of resources in supporting and bringing uh, more women into the space, more minorities in the space, because ultimately women make the world go round, right? True, that's facts, that's and facts. They power everything. I see my wife back there, so I gotta give a shout out to my, to my beautiful, <laughs> amazing wife. But um, Hey, come on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because you think I run fearless, but it, it doesn't work without the big boss I saying it. so. I love I love hearing it now. I heard a little rumor. I heard a little bird. A little birdie told uh -oh. me something. Uh -oh. And I don't know how many people know about what's going on. What's going on with the NFL? NFL. Come on. So I, I want y'all to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. The NFL, folks. The NFL. Go ahead. So last year, we signed a deal with the NFL. It was part of uh, Ice Cube's contract with Black American Initiative. So it was a $125 million pledge that uh, Cube was able to secure with the NFL. And we were the only tech company in the country that was named as a part of that pledge. And so we're pretty excited about that. But, but 
when we when we were introduced to the NFL, we, we, we were introduced and said, yes, we can build amazing technology. We build beautiful widgets. But if that's all you want, we're not the right company, and this probably isn't the right opportunity for us. They kind of looked and said, well, why not? You know, around that time, there was a lot in the news we see in toxic work cultures within the NFL, toxic for women, things like that. And, and our team was really split. Like, is this an opportunity that we want to be associated with? Is this an organization that we want to continue to work with, we want to work with? And as we got to know the team there and the people internally, there are lots of culture changers and change makers within the NFL uh, that are trying to make sure that opportunities exist for women, opportunities exist for minorities. And so we said, if we can be a part of the culture change, then we're interested in this deal. We did, and so we released um, the end of uh, December um, what's called the Football Admin Database. And what that is is when teams and clubs call from around the country and they've got a need for a new GM, new coach, et cetera, uh, they simply hire within their network. And so everyone's looking for how do we find more ways to diversify it. So the Football Admin Database essentially is LinkedIn meets a highlight reel for diverse coaches and candidates. So if they call and said, we've got opening, well, here are 50 women and minorities that can do that job. And so that excuses off the table. And so our team was able to push that forward. I love that. Now, tell us a little bit, like my motto for the podcast is representation matters. Mm -hmm. When I say that to you, what's your thoughts when you think about that for fear for your company? When, when you enter our space, uh, we have what we call our mural conference room. There is a, there's a big Breonna Taylor mural in Annapolis, and um, the, the, the designer and the muralist that did that is connected to one of our designers at Fearless. And so we commissioned them to, build, to do a mural series within Fearless. And so in this mural conference room, um, you see the words Fearless, you see our, you see our emblem, and you see uh, four black faces on the wall. And they're of, of, of young children, and it's a representation of Baltimore. And John, my partner, tells a story that when his son, his son is one of those faces on the wall, that when he brought his son in for the first time to see that picture, his son, there's a picture of, us, a picture of him looking at himself on the wall, and he's crying. And, and he says, Dad, I can do all things. I can do anything, right? In, in the sense of pride, in the sense of inspiration uh, that happens in that moment. And so representation absolutely matters. If you, if you can't see it, you don't recognize that that's a pathway that you can take. If you don't see business people within your community, you don't see entrepreneurs in your community, uh, you just think, I need to go play ball, I need to go do something different, right? And so this provides entire new trajectory for people, but you gotta see it to become it. Well, I know they, 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 they're looking at me trying to wrap things up, but we want to do this, we want to do another version of this. That's right. We're gonna have a little That's bit right. more time to it's sit down. It's an appetizer. It was an appetizer, folks, because we do, I do a lot of events, and we're gonna do a lot of events, we can talk about it, but. We want to wrap this up in a bow. What does this tech summit mean to you, your company, and your employees? What does it mean to you? Because you've been running all week. You've been everywhere. So what does it mean? Because I see the whole Fearless career, and everybody's here. We roll pretty Shout deep, out to so. y'all. Shout out Fearless to Fearless in the house. And another thing is, I see a lot of, what I love is, I see a lot of podcasters in the house that came for this event that I see that I know, and I'm very excited for that space. But wrap it up in a big bow. Tell us. What is it so so this, event, this event means everything to see and hear the narrative of Baltimore when you're not in Baltimore, right? The narrative is despair. The narrative is poverty. The narrative is violence. But as you can see as a testament here, there's opportunity here. There's innovation here. There's excitement here. And, and we love being a part of this. The fact that CIAA is here is, is a testament. The fact that everyone is here supporting the movement that's happened. There's an energy in this city and there's an energy in the air. And so uh, Fearless being a part of that momentum, we couldn't be more grateful. And we also see it as a great amount of, um, we take a great amount of pride and it's a great sense of opportunity um, and responsibility we have to do our part to keep pushing this city forward. I love, I love hearing it. So we got a shout out. Where yeah, give me all the handles. Where can people find you on IG? Where can they find you on TikTok? All that craziness around the world. At Fearless Baltimore. At Fearless Be More on everything. And you can find me at at Delali D. D E L A L I D. All right, you gotta talk to his people before you get to him, though. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But no, sure. but thank you guys for coming out. If you want to check out No Pixel of the Dark podcast, the handle is No Pixel of the Dark. You can find me. My shows drop every Monday on YouTube, Sound, all that SoundCloud, Spotify. And I will have a lot more live shows. We're going to do something big later on this summer, I think. So thank you guys for coming out. Love, peace. We're out. I appreciate you. <laughs>